friends, it's Michelle with Marstown TV. Today, I'm here with Miss Sherry at the health department for our monthly checkup. Yeah, that's what I'm going to start calling it, our checkup at the health department. <laughs> Hello, Miss Sherry. Hello. Well, let's go ahead and, and start telling our friends and family here what's happening at the health department this month. Well, we always want to remind everyone that all of our health department programs uh, and our normal programs are still going mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. So we want everybody to continue to come for WIC services, family planning, well child checkups, all kinds of shots and immunizations, birth certificates, mm -hmm. death certificates. Remember, all these things that happened before at the health department are still happening either in the parking lot or over the telephone. Okay, well, let me ask you this. I know at the end of March, uh, the county mayor dropped the mask mandate. So how are you observing that here at the health department? We're continuing to wear masks and uh, observe a protocol here at the health department that is this in the strictest form of COVID yeah. mitigation prevention measures. Because even though the mask mandate dropped, the disease didn't, correct? No, that is correct. But we hope, hopefully, on the decline. We have to look at things positively, and that's what we're doing. But but where you were talking about the ongoing, uh, you know, again, if you need to do the vaccinations or the shots, you are still doing that part in the parking lot, right? As far as COVID? No, no I mean, as far as any of your regular services. Yes. yes, we're doing all those services that we did before correct well let's go ahead and talk a little bit about covid what stage and I, is that the correct word what stage you're in or is it what level what's the terminology i know i'm saying it wrong uh the state covid plan officially called it phases, phases yeah. now uh all persons 16 and older mm -hmm. basically are eligible to be vaccinated with the COVID vaccine. Mm -hmm. The 16 and over is for the Pfizer vaccine. If it's Moderna vaccine, it's 18 and older. Oh, okay. So basically, uh, we have wide open eligibility right now for the COVID vaccine. And are you still encouraged, I know we talked about this last month, you still encourage people to register on the website as far as getting their shots? Yes. Uh, the website, we had posted the link, I think, and the phone number on your screen so that people could see that. And that is still the mechanism to use to make the first and the second dose appointments as well. And speaking of appointments, uh, this we have just recently extended our operating hours for COVID vaccinations to allow a little more accessibility for people who work or go to school. Mm -hmm. uh, now we start giving on Mondays, we start giving vac COVID vaccinations at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then every Thursday, we're giving COVID vaccinations through 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. So that allows a little more time, say before work mm -hmm. or school or after work or school to have appointment availability if you should need this. Okay. Well, what about the testing? Are you still doing the testing on specific days of the week? We are. Uh, some form of COVID testing is offered Monday through Friday. Okay. Uh, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, it is the Everly Well self-test mm -hmm. kit that we give free of charge with instructions of how to use it and send it off. Okay. And those results do come back to the individual. They don't come back to us. Okay. And then on Tuesday and Thursday mornings, we continue to do the on-site PCR COVID testing here where we send off to a lab and we report your results. Okay. Okay. Was well, there anything else that you think that we need to know about that's going on right now at the health department? Well, as far as COVID vaccinations, we are going off-site some, uh, okay. setting up some dates with industries uh, to provide COVID vaccinations mm -hmm. to workforces. Uh, and we're trying to fill those requests at present. Uh, so we're just, um, we're anxious to keep our regular services mm -hmm. going and, and build those up again. At the same time, get everyone vaccinated safely as quickly as possible. Well, you know, I say this all the time, and I hope you know I say this with all sincerity. We truly appreciate what you do, you and all the staff, everybody here, because this has been a big, ugly challenge over the past year, but you all have handled it beautifully and, might I add, ever so gracefully. So thank you for that. Well, thank you, and I want to take every opportunity to thank our community mm -hmm. because the community support has been wonderful, and we are so appreciative of that. Hey, we live in a good place, wouldn't you we agree? Do. It's wonderful, <laughs> it is. Well, folks, thank you so much for always staying tuned to Channel 7, Morristown TV today. Thank you for watching, and 
Thank you for just hanging out with us and letting us come into your home and your place of work. Stay tuned and we will see you next time.